OK, the next topic on GCSE is called Relative Frequency. Now, if you've got a pack of cards, you know that you've got a 0.23 chance of picking a picture because there are 12 pictures out of the 52 cards. There they are. And 12 out of 52 as a fraction is the same as the decimal 0.23 and a bit. So the probability of picking a picture card is 0.23. You can work that out. But you don't always know exactly how many there are of everything. So you don't know... Um, you know that there are 52 cards in a pack, but you don't know other things like that in relation to other situations. And in such a case, you use relative frequency to estimate probability. For example, there's a poker chip uh, bag with 10 chips in. They're red, green or white. We don't know how many there are of each. But you are allowed to take them out one at a time, look at them, put it back, and uh, shake the bag up again, pick another one. So you pick one out, white, red, green, put it back in, and you can gather information that way. So say we're interested in finding out how many reds there are. So you're going to repeatedly select chips and then make a table recording how many reds we pick compared to how many of the other colours. So in the first hundred picks, let's say there were 18 reds. So that makes a total of 18 reds out of 100 picks. So the relative frequency is 18 reds out of 100. 18 over 100 is 0.18. That's the proportion of reds that we're observing. Second hundred picks, 23 reds. So in total that makes 41 reds so far out of 200 picks. So 41 reds out of 200 makes a relative frequency of 0.205. 41 over 200. Next hundred picks, 24 reds, making a total of 65 reds so far out of 300 picks so far. 65 out of 300 is 0.217. So the relative frequency of reds is 0.217. Next 100, 29 reds, making 94 so far out of 400. So the relative frequency, 94 out of 400, is 0.235. And finally, last 100 picks, we, we pick out 14 reds. So that makes 108 reds so far out of 500. So the relative frequency is 108 out of 500, which is 0.216. So out of 500 trials, we've, we've observed a relative frequency of 0.216. Now, there were 10 reds in the bag. So from that, we can predict that there are 2.16 red chips, because 2.16 is the proportion of the time that we're observing red. So we expect that that relates to how many reds there are in the bag. Well, of course, you can't have 0.16 of, of a chip, so you would predict that there are two red chips in the bag. OK, exam question. An ordinary six-sided dice is repeatedly thrown ten times. The number of sixes are counted for each of for each set of ten throws. The table shows the results. And there we are. So in the first ten throws there are two sixes. So that makes two sixes out of ten throws relative frequency two out of ten point two. In the second ten throws there were three sixes. So that makes five sixes so far in total. The two that we had before plus the extra three makes five. So five sixes out of 20 throws, five out of 20 is 0.25. Then another four sixes makes a total of nine out of 30 throws. Nine out of 30 is 0.3. Then another three sixes making 12 sixes so far out of 40. 
12 out of 40 is 0.3 and so on and so on so complete the table so it, it goes up to um, 22 sixes out of the first 70 throws and then there's another two sixes so that makes 24 sixes out of the first 80 throws relative frequency 24 out of 80 0.3 then there's another three sixes making 27 so far out of the first 90 throws 27 out of 90 0.3 and then finally another four sixes so 31 sixes so far out of the first 100 throws relative frequency 31 out of 100 0.31 so that's the table completed. Uh, you don't have to fill in this space there, but you might need to do some calculation. Complete the relative frequency graph. So that's just the numbers in the relative frequency column after so many throws plotted here. So uh, they've done 10, 20, 30, 40. So we're up to 50 throws. After 50 throws, the relative frequency was 0.28. So we've got to plot 50 and 0.28. There it is. And then after 60 throws, the relative frequency was 0.3. So we've got to plot 60 against a relative frequency of 0.3. So let's just do that. And then after 70 throws, the relative frequency was 0.31. So we plot that. And then after 80 throws, it went down to 0.3 again. And then it was 0.3 after 90 throws. And then it was 0.31 after 100 throws. Do these results suggest that the dice is biased towards the number 6? Well, normally you wouldn't expect to get more than one six out of every six throws and one out of six is much less than we're observing point we're observing around point three so yes it is biased towards the number six because we expect a relative frequency of one out of six which is point one six seven but actually you're seeing a lot more sixes than that we're observing a relative frequency of around point three so we are getting more sixes than we would expect